On Friday, you'll be taking a main idea summative quiz. It will actually be on IXL um, and will look very much like this. It will just be a short passage uh, that you will read and only have two options to decide which is the main idea of the passage. Again, we learned about this last week with our common lit activity, but the main idea of a passage is not just what it's about, not the topic, um, but what it is saying about the topic. What is the overall message that you see throughout? But starting with what the topic of the passage is, um, is very important, as we'll see here in a moment. So I'm going to read this passage here um, and just read it through, not do anything yet, to get the overall feel for it. With these IXL passages, the uh, titles will be very helpful as well, too, in determining the main idea, but you still need to read through the passage. The passage is The Evolving Human Skeleton. Our early ancestors were hunter-gatherers who obtained food by hunting and by searching for edible wild plants. They needed strong bones, including large, strong jaws that enabled them to eat tough, uncooked foods. When our ancestors developed agriculture, however, their diet changed. They began growing plants such as grains and beans and raising animals for food. They also started cooking their foods, making them softer and easier to chew. Consequently, the human skeleton underwent radical changes. Over time, the human jaw became smaller and changed shape. Other bones also evolved, becoming lighter, especially in the joints, as a result of both dietary changes and a less active lifestyle. So I want to start by asking myself, and I have a little graphic organizer here, which you don't have to fill out, but shows my thinking here, of what is the topic? What is this overall about? And that's just one to two words. And it's obvious from the title, and as I keep seeing it come up over and over again in the passage, that we are our topic in this is about the human skeleton or human bones. So in this little graphic organizer here, I have outlined that here, or I've written it down here in the outline, I should say. So now to find the main idea, we want to ask the question, what about the topic? If the topic is the human skeleton, what about it? So that's where I go back through the, the uh, passage here to get some details here that help um, build a case for what this main idea is. Huge in this title here is the word evolving, which means changing. Um, but I'm still going to go through again and just see everything that it said here about the human skeleton or human bones. So I noted here that at the beginning it talks about uh, our early ancestors in ancient times were hunter-gatherers, that's how they got their food. And the second sentence says that they needed strong bones, um, including large, strong jaws that enabled them to eat tough, uncooked food. It goes on to say, when our ancestors developed agriculture, however, their diet changed. They began growing plants such as greens and beans and raising animals for food. They also started cooking their foods, making them softer and easier to chew. Consequently, the human skeleton underwent radical changes. So as I'm looking at here, okay, their diets have changed. They're cooking their foods. They're not just eating tough, uncooked food. Now the food is softer and easier to chew. And it's saying now that the human skeleton, as a result of this, went, underwent radical changes. Over time, the human jaw became smaller and changed shape. Okay, this is huge here giving a specific example that the jaw changed. And then other bones also evolved, becoming lighter. Bones are becoming lighter, especially in the joints as a result of both dietary changes and a less active lifestyle. So basically I wanna look at all of the clues here, look at all of these details about the topic of the human skeleton to decide what is the overall message it's giving. So I took the time already to come back into this organizer here and I looked at all the key details here to see what was the overall message about that topic. So excuse my handwriting here, but I had just detailed again how we started in ancient times um, hunting, gathering. We had tough, uncooked food, so our jaws had to be strong. But then later, dietary uh, practices changed. We were farming, cooking food. And then as a result, the human jaws got smaller and changed shape. And then over time, two other bones in the body didn't need to be as strong, so they got lighter. And so it's becoming very apparent when I add all of these up here that the main idea behind this passage is 
um, that bones have changed. And I know, of course, we're assuming human bones. Bones have changed over time due to our, um, we'll say hunting, or I'll just say, I'll make this even just easier here. I'll just say due to our change in diet, because that just assumes we're eating different than we used to based on what the passage said. So I've spent a lot of time with this for you to just see my reasoning here so to ensure that I'm not just making a random guess here or getting tripped up on something I think is the right answer. My two options for what the main idea of the passage is. The first one says early humans ate uncooked meats and vegetables, so they needed strong jaws for chewing. That is true. That is a detail in the passage. This is it the overall central passage that I see throughout all the details? I don't know. Let's look at the other one. The other one says, as early humans developed agriculture, their bones changed significantly. Which one of these two is supported by details throughout the passage? It definitely has to be the second one here. As early humans developed agriculture, their bones changed significantly because I see that carried throughout the passage, whereas this detail here is, is just one mentioned uh, once or twice in here and isn't the central overall message. So the second answer would be the correct one.